Oh shit! Oh, we were at this part. Welcome hey back everybody, to welcome back to Digi Bros. We're gonna Bros. go up the thing and do stuff. I don't know what stuff. this part is. This doesn't even look familiar to me. We it's because we just, we just got out of the temple. Whatever temple. Desert temple. Yeah, the desert temple. Um, and now we're at the top of the tower. Yeah, we're doing it. We're back. We're, we're on. back. We're going up the we're thing. We're on television. I forgot where we were. You know, like I'm Shinma Zinger Shogeki we're here Zihen. On television. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, mirror chamber. Someone gets that joke. This is the chamber of mirrors. I oh, got I it. I wonder if that's a huge track for you to go up. Oh shit. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. This you have to go wolf mode? Well, I'm just gonna have to teleport back. We saw how they kill these guys. Oh. Uh. And you're like sitting weirdly far away. Am I? <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, Victor. Hey, Victor. Hey. Hey, hey what's Victor. <laughs> are we okay? Are we good to do this right now? Let's, what are you, what are you talking about, man? Let's you talk make any about, sense. Let's talk about what's gone on. Oh, shit, no. Ah. Since the last recording, it's probably been like a week, maybe eight days, nine days. Uh, five. Yeah, we'll say. We'll say. Uh, no, it's definitely been more, at least a week. No, I meant are the five monsters. Oh. Um, so. It's been about a week. In the last video, you talked about the 48-hour film project. Yeah. You had just graduated from college. You yeah. officially graduated. You got your <laughs> diploma. Yes, I, I have the, the, the expensive on piece the of paper. Video, I did not. But uh, you got your diploma now. You're doing a 48-hour film a diplomat. project. And then everything stopped. <laughs> It broke. And Victor it all broke, man. immediately lost his mind. <laughs> I've I haven't been the same, man. Is that my chemical romance song? So I'm not, I'm not okay. okay. <laughs> so the second that Victor no longer had any school or work, because no one's been giving him work, he immediately completely lost his mind. Yes. Started pacing around the house. <laughs> Being weird. I have watched almost nine seasons of Seinfeld. Yes, all nine. When did you start Seinfeld? Well, I had actually started that like a month before I lost my mind. But right. since I've lost my mind, I've watched quite a bit of Seinfeld. Victor has been nonstop <laughs> watching Seinfeld and playing and Pokemon. Slowly Alpha becoming Sapphire. more and more Kramer-like as he does it, and playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire yeah, yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Squats for days. And uh, he keeps just showing up. Anywhere in the house and being like, <laughs> earlier I was in the kitchen. I was just flailing my arms around and I was just thinking about like, no one's ever gonna see this. This is never gonna be relevant. Why the fuck am I doing this? But I kept doing it. I was hungry. Oh man. And if you try to tell Victor to do something, he doesn't want to do anything because he's in a mindset where it's like, well, I have a mental block. It's like <laughs> doing things. It's like I want to do something that progresses my job, mm. but there is nothing to do which progresses my job. There's like a weird there's a weird feeling I get when I want to write and I feel like I need to write and it's it's all I can think about. Right. But I don't have any ideas. Yes. And then if I try to distract myself with with watching something, it's like distracting myself from finding an idea for writing. Right. Believe and so me, I, I can't bring myself to fucking I do anything this. because I feel like I'm 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 not writing. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is me most of the time. Yes. But I, I don't think I handle it quite as badly as you. Because <laughs> for me, I get uh, really anxious about like wanting to do more videos because it's like, oh my god, it's near the end of the month. I need I don't have enough money. I need to make enough videos that I will have some money next month. You know. Uh, but then I can't think of any ideas for videos except for ones that would take too long to work on yes. or like or shows that I don't know that I'll have an idea for you know like I go oh well I could watch Cowboy Bebop but what if I don't have anything to say you know um, I watched all of Princess Tutu and didn't end up like I had stuff I could say about it but I didn't want to do a video on it it just didn't inspire me I didn't want to do it so it's like you know sometimes you spend four days watching a show and you don't get anything out of it. And then yeah. you spend two minutes thinking of an idea that suddenly comes to you and edit the entire thing in one sitting and have yes. a great video. Yeah, that inspiration for things. Which is what happened with the uh, anime in anime video. Like, I uh. I read 
the first three volumes of Genshiken so I could talk about them on Manga Pod. And like while I was reading, I was like, mm -hmm. Kujibiki Unbalanced, Shiro Bako. <gasps> and then a video concept was born. Yes. And, uh, and I just like rushed through. I was super into it. Like the idea was so interesting to me. I, I imagined when you said, Bleh, that like... Yeah. That was the, me doing the whole well, thing. <laughs> it was like the the video in the form of like some sort of fetus shot out of your mouth in like a in like a sack, like a, a gooey sack, and it just shot shot Ew. out onto the floor, and then it like very quickly evolved into like it's uh, like a fully formed creature. Yeah. And then it died. That's and basically turned to ash exactly and what it was away. like. I mean, I could get away with. Not making another video this month. My Patreon's gotten uh, to a decent level where I can make four videos and and not be Wait, dying. Oh but I really want to buy that mattress sometime soon. Uh -huh. That uh that was my patron my patron goal for if I got up to four hundred dollars was that I would buy myself a new mattress, and I reached oh, that shit. goal. But I can't really afford the mattress yet. Ganondorf just became the breaker of chains, dog. Fuck a mother of dragons. Let's do it. God, this is a fucking awesome seed. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck! Just killed one of the seed. God damn! Is this the first time Ganondorf showed up in this? Yes. We didn't even know he was a part of the deal. It was all about Xant, and now all of a sudden it's like, oh no. Ganondorf was here, motherfucker. Scary motherfucker. Breaks Big his ass. chains, wrecks one of the fucking sage dudes. And what's he gonna do now? He's gonna break that fucking mirror. Oh no, they're gonna break the mirror. Never mind. Because they're like, this motherfucker can't get to the Twilight World. Fuck this shit. Or no, did they put him in the Twilight World first? I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Only beaten this game, what, three, four times? That Full Metal Alchemist looking shit. Yeah, they're gonna put him in there. But then he fucking takes over the Twilight World and comes back. Because he's a jackass. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, that's cool as shit. Yes, he explodes. The, uh, the, the gate or whatever, the door. What did they yeah. call it? The scary door. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad time to take it to <laughs> uh, It was uh, the truth or whatever. Oh, yeah. I saw the truth. Yeah. What are you talking about? F you fucking interrupted me Look, hardcore. Man, it was a cool cutscene. <laughs> It was something about your video. I was talking about puking out ideas. Yeah. As like malformed fetuses, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> It's Most of my is time Blotto. is spent sitting around going, oh, I need to come up with a video, but if I start watching something then I and I don't know that I'm going to have something to say about it, then I'll be trapped into watching yeah. that thing, you know? So, but then I don't end up watching anything because I'm too busy worried about what I'm going to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can never relax. <laughs> exactly. Like, my dream is to make enough on Patreon that I can work on just big videos and then like know what I'm working on and that like that video will make me enough money that I can like you know right now if I work on something like the Nanoha video it was really scary to work on because I started on it like last month um, which by the time you're hearing this will be July like at the very end of July I started working on the Nanoha video I knew it was gonna be a really big project and I only did it because I knew because Davu offered that he would edit for me. Yeah. And, like, I had just written part one, or I had started writing part one, and I was like, sweet, Davu can edit this for me, and we can get it done in the span of, like, a month, and I won't have to worry about, like, the fact that I have no desire to edit this. Um, and then I'll be able to work on other projects at the same time. Yeah. But, like, it took so long to watch all the Nanoha shit to be able to do that, that it was, like, 15 days into the month before part one came out, and then I still had to watch shit for part two and three, you know, and it was like, fuck, am I going to get enough videos out this month to sustain myself, you know? Nah. Um, but I just added a new, um, shit. I added a new thing to my Patreon that was like, if I made a thousand dollars a video, I'd be able to make the kind of videos that, that I can't just because I can't make enough money. Yeah. You know, where like... I really yeah. would love to do a video about all of Gundam. I'm like, like a well, I'd probably do a bunch of videos about Gundam, but I don't want to do any videos about Gundam unless I can watch all of Gundam. Like, no. I want to watch all of Universal Century, at least, and then like make some videos that about see. that. But there's no way I can just set aside the time to watch all of Universal Century Gundam, yeah. especially not if I try to watch like Double Zeta or something, which <laughs> is like a nightmare. Lord. Um, 
Yes. I you would need make it through alcohol. Of... Yes. <laughs> I don't think I could make it through all of Double Zeta or all of like Victory Gundam. But Gundam um, V. But yeah, I'd like to try to do like a Gundam video. I thought at one point like it would be fun, even though I don't like a lot of it, it would be really fun to do a series on Dot Hack. Uh -huh. And like most of it would probably be like what they got wrong. But like if I want to talk about Dot Hack, I really have to play the video games, and those are like 50 to 70 hour fucking games in themselves, you know? There's like eight of them. Uh -huh. So, like, playing all the Dot Hack games would be a, a month in itself, if not two. Uh, fucking, I'd love to do a video about Magical Girls stuff. Like, I, I want to do a video about just Precure, but those are 50 episodes a piece. Every Magical Girl show is 50 fucking episodes, with the exception of, like, the weird adult ones, like Utna or Tutu or something. Mm hmm. Are you, like, alive? Oh, I was trying to read what she was saying so I could figure out where to go next. I see. Hold on. But, uh... Shit, hold on. How quiet am I? I need to turn this audio recording up a little. Yeah, you do. There we go. Testing. I got a snow peak mountains. Why, Why did it get so quiet? The fish scent or something. It still looks quiet. Maybe you're too far away from the goddamn mic. I'm pretty fucking close to the mic. Yeah? I'm this far from the mic. And I'm this far from the mic. And together we are these far somewhere. from the mic. <laughs> Sorry about the audio changes midway through the episode, everybody. I'm sure that'll be incredibly annoying. It's not a big deal. Um, warp. God, I can't warp because someone will see me. They'll be all magic. About, trying to get my train of thought back. I want something, I don't know. We're, we're acting like we're on the last episode, and we're on the first episode. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> not not myself. Okay, I gotta turn got it a headache. down, because you're too loud. Yes, I am, because I project my voice. Oh, God. My voice. The funny thing is, like, I, uh, I usually turn it up for other people and turn it away from myself, because, like... I talk at a very flat volume, like, yes. most of the time. Everyone else is either too quiet or too loud at all times. Yeah. Like, if you get, like, someone like Josh, like, you can't fucking hear him until he starts talking loud and then he's, like, yelling, you know? <laughs> and, like, almost everybody else is like that. But, like, the funny thing is I point the microphone at other people because of that, but I never, like, even though I, I kind of project, it's yeah. always the same volume, and therefore it ends up being quieter. So when I point the microphone at someone else, I end up being quieter because I'm controlling my volume so I feel like much. at this point in doing Digibros, I'm probably used to being pretty consistent until I'm, like, freaking out or whatever. Yeah. So maybe well, you, you also don't have need a to point away from You have a very resonant anymore. voice. Resonant. Yeah. I'm you, quite resonant. Your voice really, like, fills the room. Oh. Whereas mine, I try to like... I'll fill your room. Try to talk in a way that it's like just hitting the microphone. Yeah. You know? Um, you know, like I'm sitting next to somebody and sitting next to a mic. And not trying to talk to someone who's like all the way across I'm the room. I'm trying to talk to Link, he's in the TV and I have to help him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to talk to this snow person. The exception being when I laugh, it's always very loud. Wah. Um. Ah. Anyway, what the fuck were we talking about? How did I get what? on this tangent? I don't Wasn't I talking I don't about know. anime or something? <laughs> You're always talking making about anime or something, or making something. whatever. I don't... I, you you want to make some, I legitimately, some muffins? Some cupcakes? Legitimately don't remember what the fuck I was talking about. We made about. waffles last night. That was nice. That was awful. My waffles were well, great. I mean, the waffles were good. The experience was awful. That was your fault. <laughs> this motherfucker's indecisive. Ooh, it's a cute girl. Not really. She's what? Look at her fucking about? hair. What are you? She looks stupid. She's got a Hitler mustache but, on her forehead. But look at her eyes. She has yeah, she perfect has that dead eyes. Look that you love. Deadpan is the best pan. <laughs> I just can't get past the Hitler mustache. I don't on her face. I don't on her on her think forehead. It, it I does. Think she's adorable. No, what is this hairstyle? It's just like incomplete bangs, like half-assed. Bangs are horrible. Ugh, what is this? It's like she doesn't have eyebrows, so she tried to compensate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. That's pretty funny. Ugh, oh, Jesus. 
I wasn't this. expecting a QT 3.14 to show up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No effect. Oh, to bring Vic. This to someone. Who did she tell me to bring it to? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, I'm gonna go talk to her. Vic. Jump. What? What have our lives become? Come <laughs> It's nothing. There's a. I don't. I don't want to say the name of this show, because you know I don't. I, I want to avoid the curse of if I talk about it, it won't happen. Uh -huh. But I kind of want to do a your anime sucks on a show that I've had a problem with for a long time. Yes. Um, but the problem is I don't know if anyone else gives a shit. No one ever gives a shit. You have to make them give a shit. Well, I mean, with Sword Art Online, everyone gave a shit, and that's yeah. what made it so fun. Was that like. It was a show that a lot of people cared about, that a lot of people were clearly waiting for someone to fucking rip yeah. apart. Like, people wanted, you know, there's, there's like one faction of people who hated that someone ripped it apart, and they're the ones who usually comment months afterwards, who I still get comments from to this day. Yeah. But there was a whole other faction of people who were just waiting for someone to rip Sword Art Online apart. And it was vindicating, and it was beautiful, because it was this popular show, and I was mad about it. And it was even better because with season one, like, a big part of it, like, what what had kind of caused it was that my girlfriend at the time had started, she had gotten really into it. Like, yes. out of nowhere, she had watched Sword Art Online and thought it was, like, the best show ever. And I was trying to explain to her why I didn't like and mind you I wasn't I didn't like hate the show at this point I had yeah. watched seven episodes of it while it was airing and then I dropped it but I kept trying to explain to her why me and you did and you had watched like 18 and you hated it uh -huh. and I was trying to explain to her why what your problems were and everything but she just like didn't get it like she just couldn't get why those things bothered us and and stuff like that so I kept trying to explain it to her and having and I was having a difficult time and then we broke up and then, like, not long after we broke up, like, people had kept asking Hold me- Hold on, she just said fuck squad a bunch of times. <laughs> okay. Uh, so didn't she lose her memories or something? Yeah. I don't remember saving her. I do. It was when you fought the boars, wasn't it? On the bridge? Isn't that when you save her? When you fight all the people on the bridge? That. Something like that? I don't fucking know. Not that I should be asked, because I clearly never pay attention when you're yeah. playing this. But, uh... What do you want, asshole? Anyways, so people kept asking me for my opinion on Sword Art Online because I'd started doing anime. This is like when, uh -huh. right when I'd stopped doing Pony and was like transitioning into anime heavily. Yeah. People kept asking me about it, and like, I didn't really have... Like, all I really knew about it was, and it's a show that I dropped and didn't really care for. And so then I sat down with you and we marathoned the whole show because I yes. wanted to understand why you were so mad at it. And like <laughs> I had seen the first couple episodes a few times and already realized that they were worse than I remembered. Yeah. Because like the first time we watched the first two episodes, we were really hype. Yeah. We were like super into it the first two yeah. episodes because like it took place in a video game, which we both always wanted like a good video game yeah. show. Like it after looked nice, <laughs> you know, like Dot Hack was boring and no nothing had really done it right. So it's like this really nice looking like in terms of art and like backgrounds and character designs, RPG MMO show. You know, and then it like episode two was all hype because there's like action and shit, and it's like, all right, this is gonna be a hype fun show. Uh -huh. And then, you know, we dropped it. And then I tried to watch it with like Derek one time, and we watched the first two episodes, and we were like, this is shit. Like I was yeah. bored, he was bored. We were like, okay, this is shit. You know. Uh -huh. Um. This is after we'd already kind of known that you had dropped it and everything. Like this is much later. And then when me and you watched it together, I was like. This doesn't even make sense. Like, this is <laughs> stupid. And that's when I did the whole, uh... When you ripped it a new asshole. The whole asshole. diatribe, yeah. Because I went into it expecting to not like it, but I didn't realize how much I'd not like it. You know, yeah. like how every episode would end up bothering me, basically. <laughs> um, so... So that was why Sword Art Online was, like, fun to rip apart, because it was vindicating as... I get to rip apart a show that everyone seemed to love, and I didn't even know there was like a hate 
fandom against yeah, it. Yeah, like a lot no of people idea. told, like a lot of people accused me of like, oh, you're just ripping it apart because you know there's, you're appealing to the people who hate the show. I hadn't really talked to people who hated the show. Yeah, from my impression, it was we need to do justice to something that that no one's mad at. Right. Like I didn't know anyone hated the show. I mean, I I, I knew you and Hope didn't like it, and yes. I I gotten the impression that it was kind of plebby. Like it's not the kind of thing yeah. that the anime bloggers I used to hang out with would have watched, but like, I hadn't really seen hatred for it because I didn't really follow anime communities or anything at the time. You know, I'd been in Pony all this time, so I just kind of came out into this show that everyone wanted me to watch, and I was so mad at it that I was like, I really need to like, explain this. And then when people, like, I was worried that no one was gonna like the video. I was worried that like, people were just gonna be pissed off because I hated on this show that everyone loves, yeah. and then people were like, really like, you know, oh man, you finally said what's been on my mind, and I was like, oh, okay, sweet, you know. Um, and it got a really good reception, and it still gets tons of views to this day. Um, and then, you know, with Sword Art Online 2, it was like, by that point, I hadn't just done that video, but I'd complained about Sword Art Online, like, constantly. Like, me and Victor would always talk about it, I'd talk about it on Pub Crawl, like, I'd just go on and on about how much I hated Sword Art Online. Uh -huh. So by the time the second season came out, it was like, this is gonna be a good time. You know, like, I already have, like, a, a repertoire with this show. A rapport, whatever you, however rapport. you say it. Um, but then, so this new show, or this rather older show that I want to take apart, is a show that it's not, it's never been super popular. I mean, it's it's well known, but it's never been that popular. And I feel like it's the, the problem with doing your anime sucks as a concept is that most of the stuff I would talk about is obviously not good. Yeah. Like, the whole point with Sword Online was that it was so popular. Like, that it was it was worth taking apart because everyone had seen it, and it bothered me that people liked it, you know? But, like, because people ask me, to like, oh, why don't you tear apart this terrible show or that terrible show? And I'm like, because everyone knows why that show's terrible. Yeah. You know? Anyone could tell you. The problem with this show that I want to do is that I don't think anyone else is as mad at it as I am. Yeah. Like, people who think it's bad just didn't watch it. And people who watched it probably like it. Because they had, like, three fucking 26-episode seasons Shit. that I'd have to put myself through. So, like, yeah. even though this show makes me extremely mad and would be really gratifying for me to write about, I don't feel like anyone else is going to care. Yeah. They're going to be like... Uh, whatever, you know, like, you've never heard of this show, um, so you won't care, you know, <laughs> it won't be gratifying the way Sword Art Online was, you know, like, and it's a shame, because there's no other show that I think that's that popular that I think deserves it that way, like, you know, I don't really like Attack on Titan, but I don't think it's nearly as bad as Sword Art Online, you yeah. know, like, it's, it's not as, like, it doesn't make me mad that way, it's just boring. Yes. Um, it's not offensively stupid. Yeah, and like, uh, Clannad After Story, or Clannad in general, like, I don't What if you watch all of Attack on Titan, and it did make you mad? Like, what if you finished it? I just get it? bored. I just get <laughs> bored. I already know what happens. It's fucking boring. Yeah. The plot is that he turns into a titan right after yeah. I stopped watching. Um, he turns out that Aaron's actually a titan. Yeah. And there's like... A lot of it's just treading water, because there's, like, a lot of mystery going on, yes. and it's just like, oh, what's going on with the Titans? Oh, I wonder what's happening with the Titans. Just like I said in my parody review that I did of it. Yes. Um, it's all just so much, like, hype for something that hasn't come, and then, like, it turns out, like, everyone's a Titan. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know if you... Did you ever see Jesse Wood's video on Attack on Titan? I think so. Because he read... He, like, he said, Yeah, I caught up with the manga, and it's it's still not finished, and it's just as stupid, and everyone's <laughs> apparently a Titan, and none of it makes any sense. Of course. Uh, by the way, spoilers for everybody who has watched Attack on Titan and not read the manga. Um, more people are Titans. <laughs> I, I feel like half the cast or something like that. People are Titans? Um... But everyone I've heard talk about the manga says that it's basically gone to the point of being stupid. Like, no one's satisfied with where it's going, it seems like. Yeah. Um. Oh, anyway, next time on Digibros. Sup? I was going to continue that thought, but I realized we're over time.